How's it going out there? Uh, today's tutorial is going to teach you uh, about the multitask bar, what it is and why it's important, okay? Um, if you are new to using the iPad, one of the things that um, most people don't know that just doesn't kind of jump out at you is what's called the multitask bar. And basically what it does, let me show it to you first. There's two ways to get to it. Uh, if you look in the corner, you're basically going to tap down the home button twice, so click, click, and this little bar at the bottom comes up. This is called your multitask bar. Um, it's really important because in the multitask bar, you're able to see what apps you currently have open, and if you swipe to the right, you actually have access to your uh, your monitor display, so you can actually turn the brightness up or down. Put it about halfway. You can turn music on and off in your iTunes, or you can change your tracks, and you can control the volume right here. Okay, and we swipe to the left. These are the current apps or the last apps that I've opened. One thing about the iPad is um, when you open an app, uh, it stays open until you close it. And the only way to close it is to come down here to the multitask bar. And what you're going to do is you're going to hold down on one of the apps until they begin to shake. And you'll see these little red dots in the upper left corner. And then you want to tap on that dot. And that's what closes the apps out for you. It's so funny, uh, my dad got an iPad uh, a couple months ago, and he didn't know about this feature, and one day I showed it to him, because he was like, my iPad's kind of running slow, and he literally had over 40 apps running uh, continuously, because they will not close until you close them, so that's one of the most important things about the multitask bar, is um, you want to open that up to close apps, or you can use it to switch between apps, so... Remember, the way we open it up is we go to that little round home button at the bottom of the iPad. We want to double click, and then it opens up. Just to give an example, I want to open my calendar. Okay, and then I'm going to close it. Then I'm going to open my photos. And then I'm going to close it. Now, if I double click and bring up that home, uh, that multitask bar, you see the last two apps that I opened. Notice how they're still open because I haven't actually closed them out yet. Um, what's cool is like if I'm looking up something online, I might have another app open that like is letting me write notes. Like, let me show you for example. So notes are open here, and then I may go on Safari, and I may go to like Wikipedia, and I could be doing research on a topic or whatever. And so I can actually bring up my multitask bar and I can switch. And then I can tap on an app at the bottom to open it up to go back and forth. Um, so the multitask bar is really important to know about. And it's important to, to close those apps frequently because you don't want them to stack up. Because um, after a while, if too many apps are open, they will close. They will um, slow down your iPad. Okay. Another thing I want to show you, there's two ways to get to your multitask bar. And I've been demonstrating the first way so far, which is double tapping on the home button but there's another way and uh, basically if your iPad is updated to iOS 5 which is the newest update you can take four fingers and you can slide them up and it brings up your multitask bar just like that so we're gonna tap on tap on the top screen to uh, bring it down and try again four fingers slide up and there it is make sure you check out my video um, uh, new multitask gestures that kind of helps you explain or understand more about um, that, that feature and those gestures but um, that's the other way you bring up your multitask bar okay so it's really important to know about this um, it's important to open it every so often I would open it a couple times a day just to close apps because again you don't want too many to be open at one time where it will slow down your iPad so hope that was helpful this is um, one of the many courses that are uh, available in my iPad 101 series. So hope that helps you on your road to learn the iPad and um, being able to make the most of the technology. All right, have a good one.